I'm about to give you the best practices on how to set up your data folder correctly when you're setting up Foundry. If your Foundry data folder looks like this, you've messed up and need to rethink your choices. And having things properly organized like I do will not only save you a headache in the long run, it'll transform how you fundamentally interact with Foundry. Also, I have a time-saving tip if you already have your folder organized, which I bet you didn't know, or maybe you did. The Foundry user data folder is used to store every Everything that you put into Foundry. Everything from maps to player character artwork to music to anything you want to upload is stored in this folder. I highly recommend that if you're new to Foundry, you follow these best practices. And if you have used Foundry for a while and have messed this up, there's ways to fix this. However, I recommend you do it properly from the get go because fixing it is not an easy task. What I'm about to teach you is not that difficult. Okay, let's say you're creating an actor. Let's go ahead and name him Boblin, the Goblin. When you set up his icon and token, do not choose a file and upload it to the base root folder. Immediately make a directory, whatever your game world is called. I might be playing Rusthenge. So let's call this Rusthenge. Then click on Rusthenge and inside of Rusthenge, don't upload. Make another subfolder called player characters. You can obviously make another subfolder, but I think this is good enough. We can now upload Boblin, the goblin. Look at him. Look at this beautiful man. That's basically the long and short of it. Now, typical folders I usually use for the subfolder, for example, if I'm running Ruby Phoenix, I have arts, maps, maybe music, NPCs, and player characters. Your subfolders will vary, and I recommend you organize it in a way that you understand it. But why are we bothering to even do this? Hmm. Honestly, it's just for organizational purposes and you don't want to get to a point where you're looking for a file in your main data folder and you just can't find it because they're all mixed together. Because honestly, what's gonna look better? This player character folder that I have and this pets folder that I have or this horrible conglomeration of just everything in my Kingmaker game put in one place. Oh God. Okay, you say, let me just reorganize stuff. Do not do this. Do not do this. Do not do this. Cause you're gonna see this icon a lot. If you just go to your foundry folder and start dragging everything around, it's gonna break everything in foundry. You will regret it. Your maps will look like this. Your actors will look like this. Everything will break. Everything. So what do you do if it's already too late? Can I get the last 15 years of my life back? Probably not. But you can just like our lives, fix it piece by piece, little by little, bit by bit, meticulously and painstakingly. It's gonna be a bit of a pain doing it one by one, but if you really want to reorganize your foundry folders after you've already messed up, then that is what you're going to have to do. Relink everything one by one. And now it's time for the bonus tip. Here's a bit of a time-saving tip. For example, let's say you have two games you run on Sunday. You put them in this folder. Let's say you want to do Triumph of the Tusk and you have a player character's character folder. Yeah, it's a lot of folders to click on. So let's just add it to favorites. Bam, it's, it's right at the top. If you're in the root folder and go here, you can immediately go to that folder. Look at that. Now that's a time saving tip. I hope this video was useful to you. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. I probably did and like and subscribe.